Don't you wish phones were a little bit smarter? When you're sleeping, they would automatically know that you're sleeping and turn the ringer volume off. Or let's say that you're in a loud room, they would automatically ramp up the volume so that you can listen to it. Well, I'm here to let you know that there is a way and it can be done with your Android smartphone. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is relatively easy to do, especially if you follow me on my Tasker Tutorials YouTube channel, which it will be the very first link down below. However, if you just want to follow along, you should be able to do that without getting uh, lost or frustrated. Relatively easy. First thing you're going to need is Tasker, of course, and you're also going to need Auto Voice plugin. So unless you don't have those two applications, you will not be able to do this. The first thing you want to do is set up a new profile. And this profile is basically going to work when the phone is ringing. So what we're going to do is push on event, push on phone, and then when the phone is ringing, a task is going to happen. Go ahead and push on back. Now you don't have to name your task. I typically don't depending on what it is. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and hit that check mark and this is what we're going to do. Now it's the fun part where we program the phone to check the volume levels and dynamically adjust the volume based on that. So the very first thing we want to do is put the phone in silent. So what we want to do is just, I usually like to filter my searches and makes it a lot easier. So just type in silent and you'll see silent mode and then you want to go ahead and turn that on. Otherwise what's going to happen, and it took me a while to figure this out, is that it's going to revert back to whatever it, your volume setting was before. So if you're sleeping and let's say your volume was at max setting, it would actually ring first and then check all this stuff. So you don't want to do that. This is a very important step. Next thing, we're going to flash something on the screen. And I like to do this just because I want to know what Tasker is doing. Otherwise, everything is happening in the background and I have no idea. So the first thing is listening for ambient noise. So I know that when this flashes on the screen, Tasker is doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. It's going to be listening for the ambient noise, which takes me to my next step is exactly that. It's now going to listen for that ambient noise. And in order to do that, go ahead and push on that plugin. And the next set, or excuse me, the plugin that you want to choose is the auto voice current noise. That is very important that you select the correct one. Otherwise it will not work. Go ahead and hit that pen or pencil and it's going to listen for, I like to set it for two seconds. You can set it for however long, but I feel like two seconds is just enough time to make those calculations and then, you know, move on. So again, you can set it for one, two seconds, the longer, obviously you get a better and more accurate reading, but at the same time, your phone is kind of put on hold and you know, if you need to take the call, you might miss it. Now, once it's checking for the current, um, noise levels, we need to do a calculation to adjust the volume settings. Okay. So we're going to do a variable set. Now what you want to do is hit that, I guess it's like a, so they call it variable select so that you can find one. If you don't, you might have to manually type it in, which is not a big deal. In this case, we want to type in volume. And then the next one is going to be AV noise level, which I do have here, but I have to make some calculation or excuse me, modifications because it's actually going to be going to be doing some calculations on the noise level slash what to adjust the volume. Okay. So go ahead and I don't know if you guys can see that there. I may have to do an annotation at the bottom so you guys can take a look, but it looks like it's pretty clear there. Make sure and check mark to do the math. Now the next set of instructions is do a variable split and I'll explain to you what this does in a second variable split. There we go. Now this variable split is going to be off of volume and then we're going to do a period. Basically this takes out any decimal points that may exist. So it is important that you have that in there. And, and almost last, we got two more. We're going to flash something on the screen, basically updating us on the current noise level. So we're going to go ahead and put noise level. And then we're going to be using the AV noise level percentage or variable. So this is telling us what the noise level is. Remember, since this is a variable, we don't. it's not something that is static. 
it will update that and then go ahead and push on enter. That is very important. Don't running on one line. You have to push enter so that it's a new line. And then we're going to put setting. Oops. Setting volume. Okay. And then we're going to do percent volume, but add a one toward at the end. Okay. So it should say noise level. And then both of these are variables. Go ahead and push on back. And now the last thing is it's going to change the ringer, ringer volume. We're going to use that variable and it's going to be volume one. Okay. So let's go ahead and run through this really quickly here. So it's going to turn the first thing it's going to do when the phone ring is set it to silent. So it's not even going to ring at all. Next thing it's going to let you know that it's listening for the ambient noise which it's going to do that for about two seconds in step number three. Then it's going to take that calculation and what it's going to do is it's going to listen to the volume and adjust it accordingly, make its calculations, do a variable split so that, you know, it takes any decimal points out. It's like going to let you know what the current volume level is. Then it's going to set the volume or it's letting you know what it's going to set the volume to. And then of course you're telling, it based on everything that's happening, what the volume should be at. If all works, when you hit that play button, it should kind of give you a quick playback of everything. And I'm going to be completely silent so that you guys can see how this works. Noise level negative 71, volume zero. So zero means basically off. <laughs> now I'm going to make noise. I'm going to be pretty loud here or, you know, talking normally and it's set it to volume six. Negative 12 is the noise level, but I'm sure you guys want to see this live. So let me go grab a phone and give you a full demo on how this works. So I brought an additional phone to make a phone call. And the first thing I'm going to do is show you that my volume level is all the way maxed out. And then I'm going to make a phone call to myself. Now I'm going to be completely quiet because I want it to be pretending like I'm sleeping. So if you don't hear me, you know why. So I'm going to go ahead and dismiss that one. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but this time what I'm going to do is actually talk so that way it'll adjust accordingly. And of course, make those calculations so that you guys can see how it changes the volume based off the noise levels that are here in the room. So let's go ahead and uh, listen to that. Now it's checking for the ambient noise. It's adjusting it to volume six. And there it is. As you can hear, it sounds perfect. Da -da -da. So there you have it guys. I hope this tutorial was fun. If you guys like these types of videos, as I stated in the beginning of the video, make sure you do follow my Tasker Tutorials YouTube channel. It has a lot of fun stuff like this, especially if you want to get the full control of your smartphone, Android smartphone. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, adios.